September is World Alzheimer's Month, a, a great time to focus on the millions of Americans living with the disease, which is the most common cause of dementia among older adults and one of the leading causes of death among adults 65 and older in the U.S. But there is hope for patients in the early stages of the disease these days. John L. Dersham and her neurologist, Dr. David Weissman, join me now with more. So thank you so much for joining us. Such an important topic, especially now, right? So Dr. Weissman, let's start with you. What is early Alzheimer's disease and how is it different from from normal aging. Alzheimer's disease is a neurologic disease, a brain disease, in which the brain starts accumulating these proteins that stick on nerve cells. And it likes to affect nerve cells that make new memories. So it typically presents with folks who just can't remember stuff. Uh, they can't remember conversations, and they can't remember dates, and they can't, and slowly it affects other thinking problems, so it affects day-to-day -day activities. Um, it differs from normal aging because normal aging just isn't that. Normal aging is go from one room to another, can't remember your keys, can't remember what you came in there for, and like tip of the tongue things, what, you know, hand me the thingamajig. So John L., can you tell us more about your journey and uh, what some of your first symptoms were? I was a practicing OBGYN doctor and a mother of two kids, and I was having trouble at work and at home. And um, first, I um, was um, having trouble in the operating room as well. And, and at home, I was um, having trouble with completing a recipe, and I decided that I needed to have a, a neurologic evaluation and I um, had my son make an appointment for me to go to a neurologist and we were we went to the neurologist and then I was diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's and at the same time I um, was that I was diagnosed I was of, of course obviously devastated but I saw an a TV segment on Lakembi, which was the first FDA approved treatment for early onset Alzheimer's disease to slow the progression. And so we looked into um, seeing if I would be a candidate for that. And that was how I got hooked up with Dr. Wiseman. And I've been on Lakembi since um, June of last year, and I think I'm doing very well. And I just want other people who might be struggling to know that they don't have to be just afraid and devastated, but that there is hope for treatment that could maybe slow the progression and let them enjoy all the things that I was afraid I was going to miss, like seeing my kids graduate from college, um, have a family of their own, get married, and anything else that I would have liked to see that I can now probably imagine that I may. Right, right. Yeah, it's been an honor to be part of that solution. I mean, it's been wonderful to offer people hope with these new medications that kind of, if you catch the disease early, they can slow down the progression and keep people in a milder state for longer. Yeah, so doctor, how do these newer treatments work? So they target the abnormal protein that I was talking about before, this protein that collects in the brain and it induces toxicity. It lowers that um, and eliminates it. And that seems like it slows down the progression of the disease. That's wonderful. Um, what is the most important thing, John L., that you would like people to know, um, people who may be thinking that they are affected by this, that have maybe the symptoms that you mentioned earlier, or maybe that knows someone? What, what should they do? What would you like them to know? Um, I really want to raise awareness and if people are concerned that they may have that diagnosis, there are treatment options that offer a lot of hope. And so I would suggest that you or a family member um, seek treatment at, with a physician or a medical um, person and have hope because there are treatments that will help you. Well, I'm so glad that you listened to your body and you went and, and you were proactive about it because I think a lot of people sometimes may ignore symptoms or you know maybe even be in denial. I don't know for lack of a better word, but um, 
I just think it's wonderful that you took that step to, to get the help that you needed, and I'm glad things are going well. But doctor, where can we go for more information? Go to the primary care doctor, go to a specialist who takes care of folks with memory loss, neurologists, geriatricians typically do that. Um, and then to learn more, there's a website, lekembi.com, L-E-Q-E-M-B-I.com. All right. Thank you again both so much, Doctor, for that information and John L. for you sharing your story with us today. And everyone at home, if you'd like to see this interview again, you can head to First Coast News Plus.